name is Scott for SP Gaming. We're back here in Grand Theft Auto 5. In the last episode, Trevor and Michael were reacquainted. We're here at the observatory to meet our FIB contact. And apparently Tracy has been trying to get me on the phone. There's been a bunch of random text messages and other things. But, uh, yeah, we ended up getting this one here from Martin. It kind of popped up, I think, at the end of the last episode. Finally, I have received your payment. The house will soon be restored to its former condition. I am pleased you are a man of your word. I'll give him a call. Probably not going to get a response. I cannot come to the phone right now. Call back. Okay. And... Email... Okay, apparently not. So, should we call Tracy? Yeah, let's call her, see if she wants anything. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! <laughs> I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! <laughs> okay. I guess she would have just called to berate me, but uh, yeah. Rather than stealing a car or borrowing a car, as some might call it, I decided to take a taxi over here. So, yeah, no use standing out here. Let's uh, meet... I think his name is Dave. Don't know much about the guy. Oh. Do we go in? Hey, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Look, I've got like the most amazeball and critters opportunity ever. You good? Hello. Uh. So do we go in? I don't have no idea where to meet this guy. I think I like the double. Um For one dollar? Is our contact over here? Telescope. Davy, how you doing? About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davy, seriously, <laughs> you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if the when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, 
he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Oh. 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 <laughs> I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcohol. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! Ah! All right. Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. Surrender yourself! Come on. Search the morgue for the body. Um, that don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help, but you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Hey, stop! Oh. Put your hands on your head! Do I... Okay. Just let me go! Carry on with your business! But I want the fuck out. Let's pull out. Where's your cover? Fuck you. Extreme prejudice, people. Oh dear. No. Asshole. No shotgun would work. And your mother. This is fuck. Supposed to do this the silent way. Yeah, you die. This the way out. Asshole. I should have stayed on the slab. You're a threat to national security. Let's go. Oh dear. Um. Watch out! I need to reload. Trust me. I'm not interested in the truth. Come on. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. Well, let's grab any ammo we can. It 
It's all a big misunderstanding. Like all your weapons will be in black trash bag in the evidence room at the top floor. Okay. We got the exit sealed. Just let me go. Stay down. Let me go. And no one else gets hurt. Don't be a hero. Stay down. This is fuck. I'm going to. No, I want. Take cover. Shithead. I should have stayed on the slab. was not good. Actually, no. Could have. Uh... Nope. All right. Three stars. Now this could be bad, although. Out here. Oh. I think I'm going to be good if we take a look at the map. Yep, cops are all over. Unfortunately, I don't think they are going to see us here, so we're going to be good. Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. 
and make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Go to the oil derricks. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the Agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown, in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those Agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. All right, well, now, are there any vehicles? Although I suppose I could have gone back from my car after losing the cops. And we're back at the arena. Let's just put our weapon away and there's a few vehicles we could grab. But this one. All right. All right. So we are going to radio off and then check to see where we need to go. All the way over there. All right. That works for me. Steering is very loose. Uh, we need to go left. Driving a stolen vehicle and causing major major collisions. Yeah, not a good idea. <laughs> All right, so right here. Franklin, what's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember, I told you I know people. Feds who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full <laughs> of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his, and everything was cool. The problem started when recently... I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, 
fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so. She. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history, complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel, but you meet. Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. <laughs> so what's the mood then, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I... I... I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, the motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you, big. Now come on, you better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Mission pass. Dead man walking. All right. Well, at this point, assuming this is the car... Jacked a shyster fuselage, and the radio is still off. All right, so what is up next? We got uh, a bureau mission, and we got a Michael mission. We don't got anything else other than a Trevor mission plus a question mark mission. That mission up there. Right now, I'm thinking of sticking with at least uh, Michael for the time being. So what I will probably do... Uh, I don't really know. I was tempted back... Where was I? Vinewood Garage? No, not that. It was over here somewhere. Anyway, there was a business I was thinking of purchasing. It was the taxi company. I don't know where it is now. Property, pictures, $750,000. Well, I can purchase it if I want to. Smoke on the water, car scrapyard, Los Santos Golf Club, Tivoli Cinema, Ten Cent Theater. Oh. Cinema Doppler. Ten million dollars. Los Santos Customs. Mackenzie Field Hangar. 150,000. That's it. That's it. Right there. I was right around this area. I. Th yeah, that's right. I had uh, finished that mission with uh, Trevor and I was heading over to. I think the observatory. I was thinking of picking it up, but yeah, skip that. Anyway, at this point, I'm going to take a break here. And in the next episode, I think I will make my way back to Michael's, possibly. Um, yeah, I might as well head back to Michael's. And then we'll continue off in the next episode with more Grand Theft Auto. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day.